All right, Mjolnir men, Mjolnir women, and newcomers. If you are watching this video, and I'm assuming that 80% of the viewer base of this video will probably be in the broom closet, as the Wiccans would call it, about practicing the occult, or maybe you're a Satanist, or you know you're you're not what the West would consider a favorable religion because it's been distorted with Hollywood lies and and movie magic to portray it as some evil cult hell-bent on killing people even though I bet most people I mean I know several people I went to high school with that um, are in the crystal magic and stuff you know they they wear the little smoky quartz pendants and you know they gotta protect their auras and they gotta realign their chakras I would say this is occultism too but, I want to talk about the uh, repercussions of coming out as an occult, an occult practitioner, um, a Wiccan, a witch, whatever you want to call yourself, a hedge witch, Satan, Satanic, I mean. Um, now, if you're a content creator like me, and you're, you're out of the closet, you have professed continuously again and time again, that you do practice the occult and you like I have have made videos on spells and stuff and how you believe magic works the Christian and for me especially the Christian community will jump on my video in, in legions and basically download it tell me I'm going to hell I've had people accuse me of being a demon wearing a human flesh suit um, being possessed by a demon oh uh, one time I was a reptilian shapeshifter but um you know after a while it doesn't phase me you know, you know half these people say oh I'm gonna kick your ass for believing in this shit but you know people don't do shit it's the internet but I think something more personal would probably be your social life outside of the internet. YouTube. N not YouTube, what the fuck? Not YouTube, but outside of YouTube, I mean. Um, you know, family, um, school, friends. My grandma is an evangelist Christian, very heavily conservative, very... You know, she's the nine yards of what you would consider some nutty Republican down in the bayou to be, right? So, she had just, she knew I wasn't a believer in God for a long time. And, you know, I know she probably secretly prays in her house that I turn to the Lord. But, you know, yeah. I haven't believed in God my entire life. I'm not going to start now. Um, you know, haven't needed him. So, that's just me. But, last year, I think she realized I was into the occult. She'd come into my room because she used to live with us. She retired and moved in with my aunt. Ironically, I'm making this video. She's visiting for the weekend. But, you know, she, she would come to my room when I wasn't home, and she was home. She'd see the, the witchcraft bookshelf, the, the pagan bookshelf, all these occult texts. <clears throat> and then, you know, see my Christmas list and see that I wanted a Fruits of Eden by Taro Warwick, and when he was still doing the chaosis.com thing, which apparently became a, a scam. Um... She saw chaosis.com, and she was she talked to my mom. Okay, she, here's what she said. She's like, uh, she's like, she, she was like to my mom. She's like, uh, I I I think Austin I, is he satanic? Is is he a, is he a Satan worshiper? And my mom's pretty chill. You know, I talk to her about this all the time. She's like, no, no, Gigi. She is. He is not a Satan worshiper. He he's he just reads a lot about this stuff. 
it's just his staying. Later that day, ab ab about midnight, she's coming downstairs because she she's got diabetes. She she runs downstairs to get water because of glucose problems and so on and so forth. I'm I'm getting a croissant, I think, you know. And she she comes down. She's like, um, so so what about this book? What's what's this about? She's like drilling me. And I was like, oh, it's not a cold. It's it's just about plants and. I, I'm, I'm gonna order the book soon. I think it does have some occult references to plants, but not many. But, you know, she's like, oh, okay, but well, what about that website? I was like, well, that's that's the website he, he chose, the author chose to publish it through. She's like, oh, well, you're not gonna be doing any satanic rites or anything, are you? I was like, no, no, Gigi, I'm, I'm not gonna do any satanic rites. I mean, I've, I've done sigil magic, I mean, I've, I've done curses. Probably a good thing she doesn't know I've done that. Um, I mean, I haven't even told my parents that I've done spells and stuff. They've worked for me, so, you know, if I feel I really need to do it, I'll do it. But, you know, I don't, I probably haven't casted a spell in... about almost two years now three years no two years the last spell I cast it was a curse on someone and then I said time and time again a day after that happened he gets a hold of me he's like I need help I'm like what what do you need and he's like my girlfriend she's threatening to take me to court to sexual harassment I'm, I'm trying to be a marine I, I can't afford you know, a lawsuit, or else I'll, I'll, I'll get kicked out immediately. And I was like, well, this serves you fucking right, cock Uh, no, but no, me and the guy patched things up, but... <clears throat> at the time, we were... pretty brutal toward, towards each other in a, in a bad way. But, you know, if... I can't, I can't go down south and tell my relatives that, you know, I'm, I'm sort of a neo-pagan occult practitioner... Because they're going to be talking, speaking in tongues around me, throwing water on me that's blessed. And, you know, trying to get me to get into, like, possession mode. And, I, you know, if it doesn't work on you if you don't believe it. It's, it's true. If someone, you know, if you cast a curse on someone and they don't give two shits about the occult and they think it's a bunch of bullshit, it's not going to work on them. Same thing, you know. Christianity has a cult undertones, praying, um, put, uh, exorcism. So they, they'd be doing this. I'd probably be on the ground laughing, but it wouldn't be like a demon laughing. It'd just be me laughing my ass off. I mean, kind of being sad because I couldn't talk to these people ever again. I mean, my friends respect it. My friends kind of are interested in it. Some family members know I, I practice it. They don't give a rat's ass. My parents know I'm into it. They don't give a rat's ass. But a lot of my hyper-religious family would think this is the worst thing in the world. And it's not. They probably would freak out if they found out I've been, you know, I was a cultist when I came down last year. Or, or... You know, I was an atheist when I came down five years ago. But, let me tell you a story to wrap this video up. It's getting a little long. There's sort of something that would be similar to this. When I was in seventh grade, I said in, in my band class that I was an atheist. My whole section freaked out. Rumors spread around that I was this crazy atheist kid. And... I lost half my friends, you know, I had a lot of Lutheran friends, and you know, at that time, people still believe in their religions, I, I think half those people aren't even religious anymore, and <clears throat> they're telling us that, I mean, one of them told me that we, we can't talk to you, our church forbids us kids from socializing with the atheist kids, they say they're terrible people, so I had to lie and say that, well, I'm, I'm just I'm just losing my faith, you know, I'm agnostic. 
And I've had to do this until I got out of high school. I wasn't in a religious high school, but I had a lot of religious friends. I had a, a fundamentals friend. I really, I, I liked the guy. Good musician, fun to jam out with, but he wouldn't even touch, or touch me. He wouldn't even talk to me again if he found out I was, you know, reading about paganism. Uh, if I had a, a YouTube channel at the time dealing with the cult topics, he would totally flip his shit. And, you know, I understand because they're taught their whole life. I think it's more the fact that, you know, I'm just such a normal guy, just an everyday guy. And, you know, I guess they just kind of expect that everybody's a Christian, I suppose. So I think it's more of the thing, like... They're just so used to being in their small circle. You know, they, they may go to public schooling and stuff, but they're always going to be in that small, inclusive, little religious household with their religious family and their religious community when they have the church picnics and the summer camps. The minute they step into the rest of the world, they are smacked in the, the face, realizing that they are walking among a bunch of Satanists, occult practitioners, neo-pagans, Wiccans, um, did I say Satanists? Satanists and atheists. And I think they just don't want to accept that you know, other people can live productive lives and by most means a normal life without their their deity in charge of their life. And they freak out. But, you know, we're, we're people just like you. And most of the people, most of my religious friends, they still don't know I'm, I'm a pagan. And, and a practicer of the occult and cast curses and spells unless they somehow by chance by random chance find this YouTube channel because it's not under my real name they will find it and never talk to me again but my plan is to just live my life slowly disassociate from many of these people because I, you know, we're growing up and I'm bound to not even like the person after high school anyway. So, those are, those are the social repercussions of joining the occult, or coming out as an occultist. If you have any st uh, story you would like to share about your experience coming out to your family as an occultist, or so on and so forth, please feel free to share them below. This is your host, Mjolnir Man. Peace out, subscribe, and have a wonderful rest of your November 21st. Peace out, YouTube.